be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with dope videos just like this. OK, now today's video, what I wanted to talk about is leveling. OK, some quick uh, ways to get the proper levels on your beats when it comes to mixing. OK, so I have this beat. Um, it's already done. All I have to do is put a quick mix on it, basically. And I wanted to just go ahead and go through the process of going through my, you know, the, you know, what I would recommend doing when it comes to getting levels, the proper levels. So I'm basically going to come over here to the hook of the beat. Um, basically, just the main part It's going to have the most um, instruments and sounds during this part. And I'm going to go to the second part of the hook because it has this other breakdown right here. And when it comes to leveling, like the first thing that I'm always going to do is I'm going to start off with like, say, like your kick and your 808. That's the first thing I'm always going to make sure is solid first. And so what I'm going to do is go through all of my um, tracks here and then we can just organize this. So we'll put our kick up to the top, then our 808. Um, we're going to put our snares. Th these are the things that I'm going to you know, be mixing in um, step by step. Um, then I put my stuff like my percussion, like, you know, I got my hats, um, open hi-hats, stuff like that. That's the stuff we're going to mix next. And from there, then we're going to go ahead and start mixing in um, the melody. So, yeah, we got everything organized. The next thing I'm going to do is just come over here and just solo out the kick. And we're going to listen to that. Um, another thing I've been doing lately is on the stereo out, I put the Smack Attack uh, plugin on there. And what I'll do is I won't actually um, boost anything. I'll just put this clip right here on and it usually works out pretty well as far as clipping. But I'm going to turn this up and then I'm going to bring this 808 in here. And I usually just turn it all the way down and bring that 808 in to where it's not like where the, the, hit, the kick is still punching through the mix. but it's not um and I'll, I'll put it like this as well so you can see i might as well go ahead and just bring all this down here as well so you can see up here so here basically i'm gonna bring this 808 up probably like halfway And the whole purpose of this is you just basically want to still be able to hear the kick punch through pretty hard as well as hear that 808. And so, like, for instance, if I was just to um, mute out this kick, you want to be able to hear that 808 solid. See how you can hear that kick solid. You want to hear the same solidness. You want to hear it just like that. So anyway, you got the kick. It should be the highest level on here. The 808 is anywhere between like half that level and like probably like a, a qu uh, three quarters of the way that level. And then we're going to start working with the snare. From here, I would say start going on your percussion. But what I like to do a lot of times is just make sure that it's sounding right with all of the uh, melody. So what I'll do is I'll come over here to one of the loops um, and start bring, playing around with that, the levels of that first. And the whole trick for me when it comes to bringing that melody or, or making sure the melody is leveled right with the drums is making sure that you can still hear the melody loud, but also the drums. So I pretty much just tuck the melody right under the kick in the 808 and snare. 
if you really look right here and look at everything, it's kind of tucked right under that. And so from here, um, I just start going ahead and working with my percussion. So I'll come over here to some of these other instrument sounds and bring those up like this hi-hat. From here, we can start working with some of these other sounds as well, like this bell. And after everything sounds pretty good, you still wanna come over here and check some other areas of the song. So to make sure um, that it sounds good at different parts of the song. So we might just move this loop part over bring this stuff in So hopefully that helps just to go back over what we're covered again uh, when it comes to getting levels fast. The first things that you want to do is get your tracks organized. OK, so you want to, um, you know, start with your drums, make sure your drums are all together. And then from there, you want to put your melody um, after that. So like how how I have everything set up here. And then after that, then you want to start working on leveling your kick and your 808 or your kick and you're like low instruments. So the low instruments are like your 808, your, your bass, things like that. From there, you wanna bring in that, that snare, clap, things of that nature. And as you can see here, the kick is really more of the loud, more, so more or less the loudest instrument in this track. And if you look over here on the 808, or even with, if this was a bass, it would be the same. It's not like overpowering that kick. That kick, you could still hear everything. From there, I always go ahead and start working on the melody. I bring the melody like midway up, almost to where it's like really right, right um, tucked under the kick and the snare and everything like that. And then from there, I'll put bring the, the percussion up and tuck that right under the melody. Pretty much, if you really look at everything, that's kind of what's happening here. Uh, this is a basis for getting the right levels, man. Hopefully that helps. Also, I have this trick right here that I do in Logic Pro 10 where I put the Smack Attack plugin on the stereo out. I don't affect any of this stuff right here. I just put it on clip. And what that does is it allows me to get the proper levels here without having to worry about like, you know, gain changing, you know, and stuff like that and all this other uh, things here. Um, but just go ahead and allows me to still have the punch of the track without, you know, um the distortion and stuff like so i mean in the clipping but anyway y'all thank you so much for watching if you liked today's video give me a thumbs up um and also just to keep in mind we do have courses that you can purchase if you want to know more about mixing you want to know more about how to make beats in logic pro 10 i have courses that you can get at my website beatmakingbasics.com we also have a drum kit on there and also a melody pack on there that you can download and use in your productions royalty free and we also have our 100K giveaway basically on our journey to um, 100,000 subscribers. We're going to be giving away some dope prizes at different milestones along the way. Our first milestone is at 10,000 subscribers, which we're almost at. And we're going to be giving away um, at least a pair of headphones. So if you want to get um, entered to win in those different giveaways, all you have to do is be a subscriber and then also you're going to want to make sure that you download the subscriber bundle pack. OK, and what's the subscriber bundle pack? Basically, it um, it comes with a bunch of tutorials, 
there's some snippets of different tutorials and also some snippets of different like sounds that you can use in your production royalty free but it also doubles down as entry into the giveaways every month okay so um thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video